Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to issue store credit on your Shopify store. Now, this is a relatively new feature in Shopify that you can issue store credit to your customers directly inside your Shopify store. And this is without using a discount code. This is actually just store credit directly added to a customer account. So first things first, of course, you're going to want to make sure you are logged into your Shopify store. Next, you're going to come over here to the the customers section. We're going to go here and select a customer that was created. Um, and then all you have to do underneath customers, it will bring you to the customer. You select a customer. Um, you can also add this to new customers as well or existing customers. You're going to come over here to the right hand side and click on store credit and click edit balance. Now, first, before we actually go ahead and issue this credit directly to the customer, you're going to want to make sure inside your store settings that the new customer account is enabled. So we're going to go ahead and click that under view settings. This will then bring us to our Shopify store settings under customer accounts. Alternatively, you could also go to the search bar at the top here and just search for customer accounts and just make sure you're on this menu here underneath all your Shopify stores settings. Um, by default, depending on when you created your Shopify store, you might be seeing the classic um, uh, type of customer account. As you can see here under new customer accounts, you have store credit, which you need to enable. So what we're gonna do first is switch from classic to new. Um, and we're going to switch here. Now, again, this will this may actually cause some issues with maybe other potential Shopify store apps that you have or certain workflows um, or you know things like that, but they do automatically include links that will redirect. Um, certain workflow triggers, you know, obviously won't be supported with the newer features and certain, you know. Customizations added to classic customer accounts are not included, but links will be redirected. Um, so do just keep that in mind if you maybe set up some other things in the past. I'm gonna go ahead and click switch to new customer accounts. Again, this is maybe if you have an older store. Um, now we have it under the new, uh, which is the new customer accounts. And then what we're gonna do here to enable store credit first is we're gonna come down to store credit underneath new customer accounts. And we're just going to enable store credit. So store credit is now on on the Shopify store. And this is all of the process you need to go through, of course, before actually being able to issue those credits. Um, and this is the universal link as well. If you're going to be sending this maybe uh, via text or via chat or some, or maybe via email to a customer specifically, maybe this is for like a customer support case where you're like, oh, hey, there's a problem. We'll issue the credit for customers to actually view their credit make sure you give them this link. You can copy it here um, and then you can send it directly to your customers and that will bring them to the customer account page where they can actually view the store credit. Of course, they will at least need to have gone to checkout, maybe added their email or something and created an account. Um, that's the, the link you will use to give them. Um, or you can also alternatively add them manually as a customer. It just depends on your situation here. Um, for this tutorial and example, we already have a customer here added just with a basic email. No orders have been placed. What we're going to do to issue the store credit to this customer is come over here to store credit, click edit balance. Um, and then what you can do is we're going to offer this as a credit and the current balance currently is zero. So we're going to give them a $200 store credit. And this, then this section here, the expiration date, currently it is by default set to no expiration date. But if you wanna give a expiration date to your store credit, you can also do that here as well. Now, as you can see, your countries have different laws for store credit expiration dates. Check the laws of your country before changing this date. That's why the default has no expiration date. So I would advise, you know, check with your legal counsel or Google um, and make sure that it is actually legal to have an expiration date on the store credit before enabling that. But if you want to do that and it's legal, you can do that here by setting an expiration date. You can set it maybe to a year from the current day. Um, maybe, a uh, you know, just click around here. By default, it will automatically be like one year from the day that you're setting it um, if you're doing this manually. Um, which most people would be, I guess. <laughs> and so setting that expiration date, um, we're going to go ahead and leave it as no expiration date, but it is a feature that you can enable if you want to. Um, we're going to go ahead and review the changes. So $200, credit that $200. And now the store credit balance is updated for this customer. They will then also be able to check out with this um, 
store credit in your Shopify store, when they go to their cart and they go to purchase products, they will then see that $200 in their account um, given to that specific email. So just make sure they actually use the same email um, to make it very easy for the customer to utilize the store credit. But that's how you go about issuing store credit uh, in your Shopify store. It's a pretty easy process with this new change that Shopify has added. Um, and you can do this for any type of customer. Now you can also go in here, click the store credit. Now, when you click specifically that store credit, you can then also see as well um, expirable amounts. So if you did set an expiration date, you will also see the expiration amount there. Um, in addition to that, you can see their total credit and the balance and and who actually issued it. So obviously I'm logged in as my name, Brennan, uh, is the source of issuing that credit. So you can see who issued the credit. Maybe if you have multiple different staff members on your team or something like that issuing credits, you can see who's done it and it specifically exactly what time it was done as well, um, which is also a cool little feature here. So you can keep track of all your different store credits for specific customers as well. So you can see the outgoing credits, current balances that are on specific customer accounts. Um, just to keep track of things, you can see um, maybe what was used. So if they do use it, you can see that under the debit side as to if they use some of their store credit and the remaining balance that they have. So this is sort of like a little bookkeeping sheet um, or spreadsheet. And you can also learn more about the store credit from the uh, Shopify help center as well. So um, if you have, you know, certain types of store credit, you can also scroll through here and, you know, get other questions answered as well, specifically when it comes down to like all the nitty gritty details. Do keep in mind, of course, this is currently, as they say here in early access. So depending on when you're watching this video, you may or may not have this feature in your store. Um, but I imagine, you know, if you're watching this video, you might, you might not, you probably would, but who, you know, that's just what they say. It's currently in early access. So depending on, um, the store that you have, you know, it, you know, it, it, it's turned on, but it, it just may not be enabled um, for your store. So again, I showed you in the beginning of the tutorial how to enable it um, and how it looks like on your store. But that's what store credit looks like. You know, you can see the overall like accounting tracking here, which is also nice. You can go ahead and edit that balance. So you can actually take away some of the money too, if you wanted to be like, oh no, I gave them $200. Ah, okay. Or maybe if you wanted to manually do it, maybe you gave them some uh, some product or maybe you're like, oh no, let me take like, that was too much. Let me take $20 off, right? You can review the changes. We're going to go ahead and debit $20. And now their remaining balance is only $180. So you can continue to do this. You can add more credits. Um, oh, maybe they uh, did some high fives, an extra $30. Uh, and you can credit them $30. And now they have $210. Uh, so as you can see here, it quickly racks up like your debits, your credits, and their remaining balance over time. Um, you can go ahead and edit and add this however you want. You could even, let's just set an expiration date maybe, give another uh, $30 that expires in a year uh, just to show what that looks like. As you can see, then you have the expirable amounts. $30 is expirable, um, and then that is tracked separately here uh, in under the expirable amounts. You have all your transactions here. So you can see like the credits, debits, and the overall store credit balance for any specific customer that you've actually issued store credit to. Uh, so guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful on store credits and issuing them in your Shopify store. Again, you can scroll through here on the customer data. You can also see um, you know, credits, debits, and the store credit, and a customer has used it or not used it. It will be linked to their email, so do keep that in mind as well. Um, but again, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload video. Anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.